Today, we're going to explore two of the most mysterious and so far largest known black holes in our universe, Tun 618 and Phoenix A star. These behemoths are both supermassive black holes. Tun 618 lies in the constellation Canes Venatici and is one of the most massive black holes known to us. It's about 10 billion light years away from us, meaning we're seeing the black hole as it was over 10 billion years ago, when the universe was only about 3 billion years old. Tun 618 is estimated to be over 66 billion times more massive than our sun. On the other hand, we have Phoenix A star supermassive black hole, which has created quite some buzz lately because it appears to be even more massive than Tun 618. Data suggests this region packs a staggering 100 billion solar masses. That's 100 billion times more massive than the Sun. Phoenix A lies in the Phoenix Cluster, about 5.8 billion light years from Earth in the Phoenix constellation. It's so massive that its gravitational pull can be felt as far as 3 million light years away. This region is a mystery waiting to be unraveled. Here's Tun 618 and Phoenix A star compared to each other. And here's the sun compared to both of them. That's right, you can't even see the sun. But maybe we can include the orbit of Neptune here, and this would make more sense. Astronomers first noted Tun 618 in 1957 in a survey of faint blue stars, primarily white dwarfs, that lie in the plane of our galaxy. Back then, no one knew about the nature of this region, and quasars weren't even discovered yet. But in 1970, after we started to get familiar with quasars, scientists doing a radio survey at Bologna, Italy, discovered radio emissions from Tun 618. After astrophysicist Marie Helene Ulrich obtained optical spectra of Tun 618 at the McDonald Observatory, she discovered emission lines typical of a quasar. From the high redshift of the lines, Ulrich deducted that Tun 618 was highly distant and thus was one of the most luminous quasars known. One of the most intriguing things about Tun 618 is that it appears to be extremely active. Its luminosity is estimated to be a staggering 140 trillion times that of our sun. Scientists believe that this massive energy output is due to the black hole's accretion disk, which is made up of hot gas and dust that is being pulled into the black hole. The accretion disk around Tun 618 is also extremely large, estimated to be about 4.7 times the size of our solar system. This means that it contains a huge amount of matter, which is being pulled toward the black hole at an incredible rate. And do you know what that means? It means the black hole is way bigger today than it was 10 billion years ago because it's feeding on mass, and the more black holes eat, the more they grow. But even more fascinating is Phoenix A star supermassive black hole, which is considered to be even bigger than Tun 16, and currently the biggest known black hole. Although both Tun 618 and Phoenix A star possess the ability to consume matter from their surroundings, they differ vastly in terms of their size and energy output. The sheer magnitude of Phoenix A star coupled with its higher mass density results in significantly increased accretion rates and, subsequently, more energetic radiation production. In contrast, Tun 618's smaller radius and lower mass result in slower accretion rates and lower luminosity when compared to Phoenix A star. As previously stated, Phoenix A's massive size dwarfs that of the Sun by a staggering 100 billion times, while Tun 618 boasts a weight of 66 billion solar masses and Sagittarius A has a diameter of merely 16 million miles, underscoring the vast difference in magnitude between these celestial bodies and emphasizing Phoenix A's significant size and contrast. Phoenix A star is about 24,000 times bigger than Sagittarius A star black hole, which is located in the center of our galaxy. With a span of approximately 5 million light years, Phoenix A star's size is so vast that even if one were capable of traveling at the speed of light, it would take a full 5 million years to traverse its circumference. Phoenix A star is estimated to be around 4.5 billion years old, which makes it a primordial black hole meaning it's part of a class of black holes that were the first to form after the Big Bang. 
In the early universe, high densities and heterogeneous conditions could have led sufficiently dense regions to undergo gravitational collapse, forming black holes. Yakov Borisovich Zeldovich and Igor Dmitrievich Novikov first proposed the existence of primordial black holes in 1966. Phoenix A star was discovered in 2020 by a team of astronomers led by Dr. Thomas Webers from the University of Cambridge, UK, using data from NASA's Chandra X-ray Observatory. This detection is a crucial breakthrough in our comprehension of the evolutionary process of galaxies, as it represents one of the earliest observations of an exceptionally rare class of black holes that formed during the merging of two galaxies. While black holes typically form when very massive stars die in supernova explosions, Phoenix A star is probably a result of the collision of multiple supermassive black holes that formed shortly after the Big Bang. So, not only is Phoenix A star the biggest known supermassive black hole, but also one of the oldest black holes in the universe. But the black hole today is much more massive than it was 5.8 billion years ago, as it keeps growing in size and mass by absorbing huge amounts of material. Such black holes provide valuable insight into how these mysterious objects form within galaxies. We may never fully understand these enigmatic objects, but by continuing to study them, we can unlock more of the secrets of our universe. Don't forget to watch the video on the right and subscribe. Thanks for being part of Cosmonology.